Good evening everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we may or may not be staying in Premier Inn in Soliul in Birmingham. Um, yeah basically we're driving up here I couldn't find any email confirmation of our booking which is a little bit worrying so yeah we're gonna gonna go up there and hopefully they let us in. So come along for the ride and check out Premier Inn in Solihull. Okay, welcome to Premier Inn. So it turns out that we did have a booking after all. Panic over. Um, one thing I do want to point out though is we tried calling this Premier Inn hotel numerous times and they never answered. Customer service leaves a lot to be desired. But there we go. Yeah, first impressions are quite good, aren't they guys? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So we are on the oh, third floor. Oh, oh no. come on! Amateurs! <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we would have been stood here all night. Oh, you can also do it there. Floor three. Yeah, probably. Quite a high-tech system for a Premier Inn, isn't it? Little touchscreen Schindler. 318. So we are left. Seven, three, one, eight. Here we go. Push. Oh, come on. Let me do it. Maybe you weren't pushing it down enough. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Let's turn on the lights and let's inspect our room and yeah they will be very happy to see that we have a bathtub <laughs> they didn't have a bathtub in the um, Premier Inn in, in Belfast yeah link in description so yeah they'll be very happy to see that so let's look at the bathroom first impressions are pretty good We've got, what have we got here? Luxury hand wash. We've got, yeah, quite a few towels. We've got some shower gel here. Yeah, decent looking shower. That looks nice and clean. Don't have any, any toiletries though. No soap, anything like that, but never mind. Then we've got a little bit of storage space for hanging clothes here. Hey, so welcome to our room. Premier Inn rest easy, we hope you enjoy your stay with us. If you'd like any of the below, please pop to reception on first floor where we can assist you further. Extra towels, fan, heater, extra tea, coffee, milk, sugar, duvet, sheet, rubber bath mats, extra pillows, iron and iron board, toothbrush and toothpaste. So I presume that is all complimentary. So that's quite nice. So what have we got up here? We've got a little bolster pillow up there. That can be our punch bag. Uh, for exercising tomorrow. Got a bit of storage space here. Some more towels, that's nice. Let's move that over. What's in here? Empty drawer. So this looks quite, I don't know, not old but not new, kind of in between. And it's in quite good condition. I would say this uh, kind of wardrobe, come shelves. <laughs> um, we have, yeah, some tea and coffee here. Let's do a little G Light Travels kettle inspection. And that is pretty good. Yeah, approved. Okay, got some PG tips, some Kenko, and four milks. That's nice. 
And then here we have our workstation. Oh, sorry, I missed the TV. Let's just check the TV. So interestingly, it's positioned here, not on the wall. Let's just check it works. <clears throat> Got a nice little Samsung. <clears throat> here we go. Welcome to your room. Yeah, that looks good. Let's check a channel. I think the rugby's on now, actually. <laughs> Or have I got news for you? But we won't watch that. Um, so here is the breakfast. And the breakfast at Premier Inns are pretty good. So you get unlimited continental for $7.99. And unlimited cooked breakfast for $9.99. So you get very good value for money. Um, we always get this. It's like buffet breakfast. If you want, you can get breakfast and two course dinner. Plus a drink for $24.99. That's pretty good as well, but it does limit you to staying at the hotel for both breakfast and dinner, so I don't think we'll be getting that. Check that works, yeah. We've got some nice artwork here, nice flowery. Um, let's just see what we can see outside in Soliol. We have a lovely row of flats, um, but I believe that is the high street over there. We've got John Lewis over there and a full moon up there. Yeah, so it's not the nicest of views, is it? But, you know, we're right slap bang in the centre of Soliol, so that's pretty good. And we've got our kiddies bed here, and then we've got our bed here, so let's do a little bed check. No, this is not oh. oh, that's nice, especially after a four hour drive. Actually, just before uh, we go to sleep, um, I just want to show you this. Bed test coming up. <laughs> Someone's had a couple of cocktails on the way up. Yeah. So let's check the beds. Do we have a pillow protector? Look, there's no pillow protector here, is there? No, that's the pillow. Yeah, there's no pillow protector. No. Never mind. I'm not fussy about that. We've got a mattress protector though, and no bed bugs. As you know, Paris and London Underground, I think, have been having an infestation of bed bugs. So this looks pretty clean. Remember those horrible stains that we found in the, the Hilton by Hampton Hotel in Belfast? They don't have any of those stains here, and this hotel is almost half the price. Same with uh, uh, my son's bed, looks pretty good. Let's have a look there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. We've got a nice little side table here, so that's handy for my stuff. And then we've got another little side table here. Okay guys, I will definitely see you in the morning now. Good night. Good morning guys, and welcome back to the Premier Inn in Birmingham, Solihull. So, did we have a good night's sleep? Yes, I can categorically say that these beds here were super duper comfortable. Um, yeah, slept like babies. But there's one thing I did not like, and that was the same issue that we had in the Hampton by Hilton Hotel in Belfast. So if you come here, you will see there's a little sign here that says this window can't be opened. But don't worry, there's a constant stream of fresh air inside your room. So it looks like they used to have uh, a handle for the window. But obviously, yeah, you can't open that now. Um, and I really don't like that. I woke up with kind of like a headache because I didn't have any fresh air. I always like to have the window open a little bit um, when I'm sleeping. I have a little kind of, you know, stream of fresh air. So that's a, yeah, a bit of annoyance. Other than that, the room is really good. Um, one or two little things, little niggles I want to show you in our well-used bathroom. <clears throat> Can you hear that? Yeah, that's the noisy exhaust fan. That's a little bit annoying, but yeah, not a big deal really. Um, we've got a little crack in the bathtub there. And there's another little crack there. But I mean, other than that, yeah, it's it's pretty clean. I am quite impressed. The, the shower is really nice. Yeah, we used that this morning. Okay, so let's go and check our breakfast. Bye for now. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. 
So let's see what we got here. What's that? Oh, it's cranberry. I haven't seen that in cranberry before. That's cool. We've got apple juice, orange juice, ice water, coffee machine. We'll definitely be tapping into that a bit later. So here is the full English uh, buffet, which I didn't film, but you can see we have a great selection bacon, sausage, beans, mushroom, the full works. I don't need to go through all of it. And we also got the Continental, which uh, yeah, you can see a little bit of here. And I'll show you guys a little bit more later. And a coffee. So as you can see, the full English has been demolished, except these horrendously tasting mushrooms. They were disgusting. Yeah, I mean, look at them. They don't look particularly appetizing, do they? Okay, so let's go in for round two. And welcome to another glorious day in Solihull. And here is the outside of the hotel. So actually that's where the breakfast room was that you saw us having breakfast earlier. And obviously there are the rooms above. So it's three stories and quite a nice view from the, the top one, I imagine, over Soliol. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you the entrance of the, the hotel. Um, guests can't park here, but guests can park in Load Lane Car Park just there. So there it is. Okay, so we are just about to head out for breakfast. Um, we're not going to eat in the Premier Inn restaurant, but going to eat in the, the nearby Weatherspoons. And I would just like to wrap up the video here and tell you the uh, the good points about staying in the Premier Inn Solid Hall and the not so good points. So, I mean, overall, it's not hugely different from any other Premier Inn that we stayed in. <clears throat> to be quite frank with you, the rooms are pretty standard in terms of the size, the furniture, the beds, all that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, let's, uh, let's start off with the bad points first, which there aren't too many of. They're not too significant. Um, firstly, when we were driving up here, we were trying to call reception and they never answered their phone. George isn't at home. We called about five or six times, kept on ringing and ringing and ringing, and yeah, no one answered. And we had a look in some of the reviews, and that was also mentioned that the reception never picked up their phone, which is just quite annoying. Because yeah, we I didn't receive any confirmation email about this booking, so I panicked. I was like, oh no, I haven't booked it. I, all I had was a photo that I'd sent my friend to show that we were staying here because they're also staying here. Um, so receptionist, if you're watching this, pick up the phone, please. Um, some other minor things, the bathroom exhaust fan um, is quite noisy, which is, yeah, it's, it's not a major thing, but it's just a bit annoying. It stank of weed when I walked out this morning, so obviously someone's having a nice puff uh, this morning, which I don't particularly like. And yeah, kind of relates to that point, we can't open the window so we can't get any fresh air in. Um, you can actually open the window when you come out of the lifts uh, into the corridor, that window opens. So that just goes to show the point that I made earlier. Before, these windows, you, you could open them. Um, and they've obviously modified that, which is really annoying. Um, yeah, but other than that, nothing, nothing major for the minor points, the negative points. So, in terms of the positives, which are, to be honest with you, quite similar to my previous Premier Inn reviews. Yeah, check out the links in the description. Um, first of all, you get excellent value for money. So, yeah, I paid £49 for the Friday night here, which is, yeah, just really good. <laughs> and I think I paid £79 for the Saturday night here. Um, so, yeah, that's a total of, what, 80 plus 50... Uh, about £130 I think I paid in total for two nights and that was significantly cheaper than any other hotel in Birmingham um, yeah you know I had a look at some of the ones in the, the centre kind of around the periphery of the city but yeah this was the best deal um, so yeah in terms of value for money it is excellent and the room yeah the room is nice and spacious it's much bigger than when we stayed in the, the Hilton Hotel family room in Belfast um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. The breakfast was pretty good, except the mushrooms. <laughs> I must say, and kids eat for free, so if you're traveling as a family, yeah, please remember that, yeah, if you, if you buy one breakfast, 
in the premiere in restaurant your kid or kids will eat for free so that's always a nice bonus um, and then last but by no means least I think the location is excellent um, so literally just over why don't I show you in fact just over uh, here this is yeah the kind of the main shopping street area which goes over there into the city uh, the city center or town center you can see you might be able to see John Lewis there and the glare of the sun so literally we're just going to walk around two minutes and that's where we had dinner a restaurant not in the flat but below at the front we had dinner there last night so the location is very very good um yeah so i think that's about it in terms of the pros and cons would we stay here again if i had a reason to come to solihull absolutely yes um yeah i mean i don't think there's any particular reason you come to solihull unless maybe you're going to the nec um, unless you wanted a, a reasonably priced hotel and you were going into the centre of Birmingham because there's direct train lines to the centre of Birmingham from here. Um, it's also quite near Birmingham International Airport. So yeah, if you had to stay for a night or whatever before you caught your flight, it's quite a good location for that. I think it's just a 20 minute drive to the airport. Okay guys, so I think I'll wrap it up there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment below if you've stayed in a Premier Inn, if you've stayed in this particular Premier Inn, how was your experience? Please make sure you smash that like button because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.